Thank you for trying out InView Studio Beta. This new tool will serve as a foundation moving forward for new features and optimizations for InView desktop, web, and mobile, allowing creators to take their products to a whole new level. InView Studio is currently in early beta, introducing several new features, including normal and specular maps and a fresh new user interface, and many more features on the way. These intro videos will give you a quick overview of what's new and what's changed from classic create mode. So here we go. After logging into InView Studio, the first screen you'll come to is home. It will show all of your draft products, products that you've started in InView Studio, but have not yet published. It will also show the list of submitted products that have not passed peer review yet, the list of products that are in peer review, and of course, all of your published products that exist in the catalog. It's important to note that the draft products you will see in InView Studio are only those that were started in InView Studio. You will not see draft products that have been started in the old classic create mode. You can search for any product, whether it be draft or published, by typing into the search field at the top, and it will filter your results. To the left are a set of defined filters. If you have a lot of products, you might want to be filtering for just clothing items, room items, or furniture items, and there are a number of other filters here that you can use to try to zero down on the product you're looking for. You also have the option to sort your products by last saved, last opened, or sort them in alphabetical order. For each of your products, you have a couple options here. You can edit a draft in progress, or you can delete that draft if you're not needing it anymore. For your published products, you have some similar options. You can also open and edit a published product, and in doing so, it will create a draft so that you can keep working on it until you're ready to republish. And there's a few other options here. One uh, gives you a link to your old product page, and also your product ID is here for reference. And coming back up here to our draft products for a moment, here is an example of a published product that I've opened up to edit, but I haven't yet published it yet. Um, as you can see, the draft actually has the PID uh, associated with it. I can still view the product page, so it has a little bit more information than if you were to start a draft from scratch. And lastly, if you notice, there's a big empty space over here to the right. We're going to leave this open for future features like creator news, tutorials, links to your commerce reports, and anything else we can think of that's important to the creator community. This is your home screen on InView Studio Beta.